Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III, AC3, and welcome to the Archie Luxury Channel. Remember, guys, like, subscribe, and tell your friends about my channel. And today, I want to do the Battle of the LCCs, the Battle of the Low Cost Carriers in Australia. And today, I want to talk about Tiger Air versus Jetstar. And uh, both these airlines here operate in the LCC market. That's the low-cost carrier market. This is a very, very popular, popular thing because Australians always love a bargain. And uh, low-cost carriers, they're good at presenting these low fares. So how does it work? Well, basically what happens is they use older, cheaper aircraft absolutely no uh, services involved no in-flight entertainment uh, well no free in-flight entertainment no free food no free drinks no free pillows no free blankets no free nothing the LCC model is basically the no frills no frills flying option and both of these companies here Jetstar, which is a subsidiary of Qantas, and the new contender, Tiger Air. <clears throat> Tiger Air is a very, very cheap, nasty airline, just like Jetstar is a cheap, nasty, vicious airline. Both these airlines here operate like the state government. Poker machines and fines. See, if you turn up and you've got excess hand luggage you'll pay through the nose you're a couple kilos over <clears throat> well just as well they've got their scales to check exactly to make sure that you don't get anything for free and if you're over 46 dollars at the airport as a penalty the low-cost carriers also have absolutely no no facilities at the airport you actually have to walk out on the bloody tarmac. That's right. you got to walk out on the tarmac. Uh, they don't have proper slots like other normal airlines do. On the tarmac, sunshine. The other way these airlines operate is they charge for food, drinks, absolutely everything. You want to change your booking? Penalty! You got excess luggage, penalty. You want to drink on flight, penalty. I'm surprised they don't charge for using the toilet on the plane. The other thing these airlines do is they run A320s. That's the automotive equivalent. It's the aviation equivalent of the Holden Cruise. Nasty, cheap, discount type product. The other thing these airlines do is uh, they try and appeal to a younger market. Comparing the two, Jetstar versus Tiger Air, the one difference that I can see is that Tiger doesn't pretend to be anything friendly or nice. They're just a mean, nasty airline. Whereas Jetstar, Jetstar tries to package LCCs as fun options for young people. They aim their market at the younger audience. They try and make it fun and exciting. And they do this not only with the staff, but also with their passengers. See, the way they market this type of airline product is it's cheap, Charlie, for the backpacker, for the down and out bum basically to to travel on the air jetstar itself makes everything seem like fun when you're on a no frills nasty airline jetstar tries to turn it into a game jetstar has scratch it cards to get discounts on future jetstar flights jetstar tries to make it young and fun and entertaining whereas at least tiger offers the dignity of not trying to suck up to the young market's ass. What are the what are the 40, 50 year olds feel like on 
Jetstar when they're being sold. Young is hip message. They're failures. I've bummed out in life. i got to take an LCC. LCC. Low cost carrier. Nasty, nasty option. So... The main difference between Jetstar and Tiger is that Jetstar tries to do it in such a condescending, nasty manner, <clears throat> appealing to a younger demographic, whereas at least Tiger thinks everyone is just a lousy, cheap shit, a lousy, cheap shit on their LCCs. Which airline do you prefer? Which is worse, Tiger or Jetstar? They're both fucking nasty they are both fucking nasty airlines and one should see one should try and avoid these two fuckers like the plague they are both nasty they are both airlines geared to fuck over the customer there is no service in jetstar there is no service in tiger air they are nasty vicious airlines Archie Luxury's advice is avoid at all chances possible. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. Tell me what you fuckers think of these cheap, nasty airlines. They're both, they both suck.